Thanks very much for coming back. Okay, um, Attila and Zoran are going to be, uh, Zolan, yeah, Zolan, are you just gonna be doing a drill? So just do what I said, okay? So the only instruction I've given them is I want them to practice four hands cross court, okay? Now, while they're doing that, I'm gonna talk a bit. Okay, go ahead. So, yesterday I talked a lot about, sorry, today, group training and I think group training can be very effective. Uh, I think the practice ideally should involve the same quality and the same intensity as a match. Um, and I think that the drill or the exercise you do is not so important as how you do it. I see many times drills being done that are not really the best drills, but they're done with high quality and high intensity. It's better than the best drills being done with low quality, okay? So, I think you need to work on the five game situations. I said this today. Uh, ensure optimal challenge. Remember, make sure the task is appropriate. They get success, not too easy, not too difficult. Effective rotation. Um, I need to show as coach that I care about the performance. Um, I want to reward effort. So I want the players all the time giving effort and high quality. Um, positive learning environment. I want to create simple mental challenges, simple mental things you'll see. I want to make use of all of the court. I want to be very organized. The feeding, when I do it, needs to be effective. And sometimes we'll have drills that are cooperative, sometimes they're competitive, and sometimes they're a combination. Okay, have a look at this, this chart here. You'll see, it'll be up all the time. I'm gonna to refer to this chart as we go. Okay, guys, very good. Stop for a second. Now, I gave these guys not very much instruction. I told them I want them to practice cross-court forehands. Okay, let's see what was happening. So, the players were here. Sometimes they played backhand, and it's like they're on holidays. They're on holidays. It's not, hey, 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 hey. Sorry, guys, I know I didn't give you much instruction, but this is not high quality. This is not high intensity because the players are not recovering their position. Sometimes when the ball is deep, they volley it back. It's stuff that would never happen in a match. Okay, so now we're gonna change a little bit. Now, I want you to play points, cross court. If you play a backhand, you lose the points, okay? You're playing between here and here. The only rule, it has to go twice. One, two, play the points. Okay, let's go. Let's go. One, two. Okay, next one. Okay, go ahead, here we go. Okay, so now all I've done is, I said they're playing points, and I said if they hit a backhand, they lose the point. Okay, that's all. Just with those two changes, look at their faces. The intensity has gone up a big percent. Now, I'm going to ask them something in a moment. Okay, guys, um, Attila, what's the score? What, uh, what's the score? What? 2-1, two, 3-1? One, one? One. What's the score? Okay, now, 
if these guys were playing a match, Attila, have you ever lost a score before? Did you ever lose a score in a match? Not many times, though. Oh, one time. Okay, one time he lost a score. The problem we have, guys, is this is practice. It's not important. You don't need to remember the score in practice because this is practice. In a match, you'd be remembering the score. So now we're going to play with high quality, high intensity, and I want you to keep score. Okay, let's go. Score. Let's start again. Love all. Okay, go. One. Two. Now we're playing. Okay. Sorry? It was out? Good. Okay, let's go. Score, Zoran. Zo okay, one love. Go. One. Two. Okay, now. Relevant instruction to help the player perform the task more effectively. Zolan, okay? Zolan, I want you to try to recover position. Okay, so when you play, I want to see you getting back here before he hits the ball. Okay, let's go. Go. So now he's recovering position better. Was that good? Was good? Okay. Stop for a second. Now, I'm moving fast. By the way, I know nobody's seen this drill before. It's a new drill, no? No, okay. So don't worry about the drill so much. It's about what I'm doing, okay? So now, let's try to get the players focusing a bit more. Now, Attila and Zolan, when you feel you can attack the ball, I want you to say one. When you feel you're defending, you don't say anything. So any time you really feel you can attack, I want you to say before you hit, one. Still keeping score, okay? Uh, show me attacking. Show me your position when you attack without the ball. Very good, okay? I check he understands. Now, let's go. Very good. Uh, Attila, sorry, you're a very nice guy, you're a very nice guy, but you always play the ball when it's out? Oh, oh yeah, 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 so come on, so let's go, one, two, very good, uh, that was out, play again, let's go, score Attila, what? <laughs> Okay, come on, let's go. One, two. Excellent. Okay. Zoran? Zolan, sorry. What happened? He didn't recover his position, so he plays a backhand. Okay, so we haven't done very much. I haven't done very much, but Look at the difference in the quality. Look at the difference in the intensity. Now, you see the players. They're thinking, am I attacking? Am I defending? They're playing points. They also know that they care because I care. They see that I'm interested in the performance. When Attila, he lost the point. But what am I going to say to him? Attila, very good. You were really, I like the way you were really seeing when to attack and when you were defending, okay? Performance, not just outcome. And the best time to show the players that you care about the performance and not the outcome is when they perform well and they lose the point. Because then they know you really are focused on the performance. If you Praise them when they perform and win the point, they're not sure. Okay? Now, two more players. Could you come in, Esther? You go that side. Need one more. You're this side, okay? Okay. What's your name? Adrian. Adrian, okay. Adrian, so you're at the back, right back. 
And uh, Esther, you're at the back. Actually, Esther, you start. Okay, you go back, Zor Zolan. You go back. And you're playing. Okay, now. Now we're going to look at effective rotation. So now we're going to keep the same drill, but now we're going to play team score. Team score. Attila, if you win the point, you stay one more. If you lose the point, you're gone. Okay? If you win, you stay. If you lose, you're gone. Ready? Has to go twice. Go. One. Two. Make sure you recover the position. Okay. Rotate. You stay, Attila. Go. Go. One. Two. Excellent. Okay. You're rotating. Go. You're in. Okay. Stop. All right. Now, have a look at Adrian, okay? Adrian's coming in. Is Adrian ready? Is he ready? No. Does he have a ball? No. So, organization. I want Adrian here. When he, he's waiting here, if Attila wins a point, he gives him the ball. If Attila loses the point, he comes in and he's ready to play. Organization. You got it? Okay, let's go. One. Two. Anybody think of a relevant instruction for Esther? Relevant instruction? Go ahead, Esther. Keep going. One. I think Esther could recover her position a bit more. That's better, Esther. Very good. Okay. Now, the big question. What's the score, Adrian? One all? Is that right? <laughs> Is it right? He's not sure. Again? They have to treat this seriously. Sorry, guys. Remember what I said earlier today. This is your office. You step into the office, and now you're going to work with high quality, high intensity, like a match. Let's go. One. Two. It's got to go twice. Go again, okay? One. Excellent. Excellent. Really good. Very good. Okay, now. I'm moving fast, okay? But supposing the drill is a little bit too easy for Adrian. Let's say it's a little bit too easy. Let me think of a couple of things, okay? So Adrian, you can stay out for Attila, okay? So Adrian, now what I want you to do is, you're gonna hit one forehand and one backhand. You cannot play two the same, okay? So Attila, stay out, ready? Attila, you keep going the same way, okay? Let's go. So now, one, two, okay? Now he's gotta really work a little bit harder, okay? But they're still the same task. Okay, and okay, so the same task, different difficulty. The task is ground stroke consistency. Now, another player, it might be, could I have the ball? That if the player is really in trouble, they're allowed to stop the ball and then play it back. Okay, so you make it a little easier for one player a little more difficult for the other. Now, the rotation is going to work quite well now because when you do, okay, this is just one exercise, but what happens a lot when you have just two players is that they get tired, especially if the drill is quite heavy in terms of maybe a show putting away big forehands. With this rotation, it makes sure that the players have rest, and then they're ready to come back in again. So it's, the rotation is good for making sure that the player doesn't get too tired because the central nervous system gets tired and they start missing. So by having four players, the quality can be kept quite high.
other thing is, now I can do other things with the rotation. So let's talk about some mental training. So now I could do something like, now Attila, every time when you are finished, I want you really focusing on a 20 second, which is kind of a, I'd have done this before, but I want you just breathing, looking at your strings, trying to recover, and then you're ready to come in. So I'm going to give him a task to do while he's not hitting. The same for Adrian, okay? Here we go. Let's go. What's the score? Uh, okay, two all. Okay, ready, Esther? Go. One. Two. Uh, was that in? It was out. Okay, let's go. Quality, okay? Go. Uh, let's swap. Let's go. Actually, no, sorry. Keep going. You didn't do two. Okay, so you got to keep two. Ready? Go. One. Two. Good, okay. Okay, next player, you go. Attila, you're out. I want to see that rotate. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Breathing, getting ready. Okay. Okay, so let's hold it there for a second. So what you'll see is that the quality is gone from two people on holidays, you know, it was like no recovery, to where they're recovering, they're thinking about when to attack, when they're defending, and I'm using the space of the court. And I'm also using the time between points for the players to do something. I could also do something like tactics. Okay, Attila, what I want you to do is when you're not, when you're, when Adrian's playing, I want you to tell me what you're going to do tactically the next point. So now Attila has to explain to me what he's going to try to do is combine deep with short angle or he's going to hit a little higher. So we can do things outside the court to develop this side of things. Okay? All right, now, <coughs> using the space. It's just an example, but this is a valuable commodity. This court is a valuable commodity. It's an indoor court, and I want to make sure that tennis balls are being hit as often as possible and that as much of the space of the court is used. So you could also, two more players, please. Two more, guys. Yep, yep. Let's say we did this, okay? So, um, Zolan, could you get this side? Get this side. Okay. Yeah. Both of you. Yep. Okay. So now, these players, if they're doing backhand cross court, they have to recover to here. Okay? These guys, forehand cross court, they have to recover to here. So now let's have six players. Here you go. So now we're going to have two players. So you're rotating. And Zoland, you're playing all the time. Okay, you're playing just backhands. Esther, just forehands. Okay, ready? Let's go. One. No, you're hitting backhands. Only backhands. Stop for a second. Stop. Whoa, whoa. Now, remember this morning, I said many times the coaches explain the drill. So I explained the drill, but they didn't understand. So what should have happened was, I should have said, okay, guys, you're going to start here. You're going to go out. You hit backhands. If you hit a forehand, you lose the point, okay? You guys are here. You're hitting forehands, and you recover. Everybody understand? Okay, let's go. What's the score? Love all. Here you go. Go. Okay. Good. Okay, no worries. Here you go. The players aren't warmed up, so no worries. There you go. Rotate. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Go, go, go. Very good. You got a ball? Yeah, keep going. Yeah. So now, that's fine. Okay. So now we have eight players. Sorry, six players. We have six players. 
it could be eight players. It could be two players, two, so it could be eight. But I'm using the space of the court. So I have these guys going cross-court backhands, you going playing cross-court forehands. I can still be saying, Attila, I want you to say one, okay, to your back. So I want him telling me when he's attacking. It might be another player, I'm saying, okay, I want you trying to play higher, higher, okay, I wanna see. So I want your instruction is to try to play a little higher so you're more consistent, okay? Your instruction might be try to recover quicker. Again, my instruction for every player is different because it's relevant instruction to help them play the game more effectively. That's the game-based approach. Okay, guys, come in again, okay? It's fine, you can go here for a second. Uh, Attila and uh, Esther, you come here. So Zolan, you go out for a minute. Now we're you can stay close because we're gonna do a lot of other drills. So in this slide here, we saw optimal challenge. I adapted the drill for some people, more difficult, more easy. We were effective rotation. I adapted the drills. I did positive reinforcement. You saw me many times when they did it well, I'm giving positive feedback. Um, uh oh, my goodness, hang on, let me get rid of this. Uh. Let me see what else is on the list, okay? The passion of the coach, hopefully you saw, I was interested in the players, uh, and I wasn't accepting poor effort. If the players were not recovering position, it's not good enough for me. I want them working hard here. Now, I want you just to warm up like you were, you know the way you warm up before, uh, when you, before practice? Esther, come in. So just warming up in the service box, okay? So go ahead, show me just, like you're warming up at the start of the day, okay? So warming up in the service box, yeah, there you go, okay? Okay, okay, you see this everywhere in the world, before matches, players warming up, and it's very nice, and usually the players are talking, it's nice, and okay. So, just as an example, it's, if you want the players to warm up, okay, now I want you the same exercise, you're aiming down the middle, but you have to hit one forehand, one backhand, one forehand, one backhand, okay? Go, one forehand, that's it. And now you're gonna hear the footwork much more. So now, that's it, okay? So what I'm saying is a very small change can make the quality of the exercise much higher. You see this everywhere in the world, but Something like this is important. And then another more advanced example of this is, now I want you to play every shot on the half volley. On the half volley. So you have to play half volley, half volley all the time, okay? It's, very, it's not easy, okay? So let's go. Go, half volley. Oh, up, that's it. Up, that's it, go, go, go. Okay, go again. So now, half volley, that's it, half volley. You gotta get right in there, half volley. So it's gotta be like this, you're gonna see, you're gonna see the players, everything is a half volley. So you gotta move very fast to the ball. Okay, go again, no problem. It's very, this is very difficult exercise, okay? So do the best you can. Go, go, good, good, yeah, that's it, yeah. Good, excellent. Okay, fine, that's good. So, very simple, but you go, we went from the players on holidays, nice, hey everybody, to being much more like this. Let's do another exercise. Uh, Zolan, come on in, okay? So, uh, Esther, you go out for a minute, okay? Just for a second, okay? Now, 
I want you to do an exercise. It's very simple. You're going to, let's play just between here and here. Okay? And you have to keep the ball past the service line. Okay? So you, we're playing between here and here. And you can play forehands or backhands, ground strokes. Okay? So you just have to keep the ball past the service line. Yeah, pass. Okay? But you go back. Be right back. So again, I'm going to show. So we're playing ground strokes, trying to keep the ball past this service line. If it drops short, you lose the point. Okay, let's go. Forehand and backhand, whichever you want, okay? One. Two. Good. Short. One love. Okay, let's go. Okay, score? Two zero. Okay, I want to hear to call it out, okay? Go. One. Okay, two one. One. Two. Start again. It's gotta go twice. Sorry, you go yeah, go. One. Two. Good shot. Okay, stop there, okay? Now, let's optimal challenge. So, I think Attila's finding it a little bit too easy. So, same drill. You have to play past there. Uh, Zolan, you, you can play just past the service line, okay? So, I make it a little more difficult for him, a little easier for him. Okay, let's go. Same drill. One. Okay, no problem. Score. Okay, go. Go. One. Excellent. Okay, now, it might be that I want to give Attila some some um, instruction. I can be smart Dave Miley and say, Attila, I want you to try to hit the ball higher, okay? And now I've told him the problem, the ball's dropping short, and I tell him to hit it deeper, higher. What would be better is to say, Attila, what do you think you have to do to get the ball more consistently past the line? Hit higher, okay, so he tells me the answer instead of me telling him, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do now is, this was a competitive exercise. Now we're gonna make it cooperative. So now, I want you to work as a team. I want you to count every time the ball's passed here, one, two, three, four. Team, team score. Try to get as many as possible, ready? Here we go. So, one, two, that's, yeah, that's good. Three, four, five, six. Excellent, guys. No, short, start again. Okay? One. Because if it's short, you start again. Go. So now, it's a team score, and it's cooperative. And once they get a little bit more consistent, then we could open it up to be more competitive. Okay, hold it there. Now, you might remember I, I told you the story about when I went to Bostad in Sweden, okay? And the Swedish coaches were there, and they were telling me what they did. And they showed one exercise where they kind of apologized. They said, Dave, we're sorry, this drill is very simple but we do it with all our players. And the drill was, they put a, a rope down like this, like this rope here, and they get the players to hit past it. Okay, so you have to hit past and they play points. And then they said, Dave, what we do is, as the players get better, we move the, the rope back. And guys like Velander and Yared and Nicholas Kulti, they can hit the ball 
past this line here consistently. No matter where you hit the ball, they can hit it past here. And they were sort of apologizing because it was so simple. But this is the point about tennis is it's not so complicated. You need to be able to keep the person back, stop them attacking you. And if you want to move your opponent, you need to hit deep, followed by short angle, and then the player has to cover a lot of court. So the drills are not complicated. But here, you start creating pressure. So now, what we're going to do is, Attila, you have to play. Actually, no. Zoe, you're going to have to play past here, OK? Attila, I want you to try to play deep. But if it drops short, you don't lose the point. OK, so does everybody see what I've done? I've taken the pressure off Attila by saying, I want you to hit deep, but if it drops short, you don't lose the point. Zolan still has to hit it here. If he drops short, he loses the point. So now I made it easier, more di difficult. OK, let's go. Ready? Yeah, half court again. I'm just using half court because I want them to focus on the consistency. One, two. OK, go again. One love. Here you go. Now we're competing again, OK? Go. One, two. Very good, Zolan. Excellent. OK, no problem. Score? Two love. OK, let's go. Play it again. It's got to go twice, OK? One. Two. Now, you can see, I don't know whether you can see this, but because I changed the rules, Attila's much more relaxed. And now he can play probably better. Because if he sh hits short, he doesn't lose the point. But the pressure has been put on to Zolan. So I can create situations which put more pressure or take pressure off. And this is about, again, optimal challenge, ensuring that the players are, it's not too easy, not too difficult. Now, at the moment, the players are hitting mostly forehands. So now we just say, OK, if it's this side, you have to play backhand, this side forehand, OK? Same, if you could put one in the middle. Yeah, you can take one and just put it there. So now I'm making sure that the players are playing forehands and backhands. Let's go. OK? You going? Yeah. So you hit both. So you're playing, but if it goes this side, forehand, this side, backhand. OK? Go. One. Again, the same thing, hitting deep. Excellent, Zolan. That's excellent. OK, no problem. Just short. Play again. Got to keep the score. OK, fine. I'm not spending long on these exercises, but I just want you to see what I'm doing. OK, so now let's go full court. And let's have the other players. Uh, Esther, you go in. You're at the back behind uh, Zolan. OK. And uh, Adrian, you come on in, OK? So now let's go full court, OK? So now, full court. So what we're going to do is we're going to play just full court. And the only rules are we feed the ball in and we play the point. It has to go twice. The same rotation. OK, let's go. So ready? Yeah, no, yeah, that goes now. That was just to show, OK? So now we're not, it can go anywhere on the court, OK? Anywhere, go. So, yeah. OK, you have a ball, Adrian? Good man. OK, he's got a ball. Esther, you have a ball? OK, you're back. OK, thank you very much. OK, Esther, you're in. Zolan, you're gone. One love. You got it, good. OK, no worries. Zolan, you're in. You're gone. You play maximum two. Yeah. OK. Now, we're playing full court. I said earlier, 
about serve and return. Why not, when we do this drill, it's going to take longer, and the players are not warmed up yet, so I'm sorry, but we're going to do it. So, Adrian, now what you have to do is, I don't mind who starts, but you have to start with a second serve and a return. So it's the same drill. It's just there's going to be a serve and a return. And I don't want Adrian just to come up and go, you know, you know, no. I want him to do a, a real second serve, okay? And you have to make the return. So let's have Zolan starting. Ready? So second serve. Okay, one return. Great. Now we play. Now you play the point. Yeah, good. Okay, no problem. Next player, let's go. Esther, you start. Now, I don't mind if Esther starts or they start, but let's go. Second serve. No problem. She's not warmed up, so it's hard. Do one more. Okay, go ahead. No problem. One more. Great. Okay, one return. Now they play the point. Okay, next player. Rotate. Attila, you're in. Ready, Zoland? Go ahead. Second serve. Okay, next player. You're gone. So, at first, I want the players to warm up, okay? They haven't warmed up. But once the players are warmed up, if they miss the serve, it's a rotation, okay? They have to make the, the second serve. And they have to make the return. And the point here is that, again, I said it earlier, that you can imagine how many second serves in a year you will hit and how many returns you will make. Now, I know it's not, he's not attacking the serve, he's just making the return, but it's still serve and return. And it's very, very good, instead of just feeding the ball like this, to do this type of exercise. Okay. Uh, okay, now, two on one. Many times people set up two on one situations, and I, I think they're very good. Um, because sometimes you need the two on one setup for the players to be able to work on really attacking shots. So let's say that the drill is that Zolan and Esther, you are trying to run around your backhand and to hit big forehands. So the drill is you're going bam, bam. And you can hit here or here. OK? Got it? Uh, no, we're not going to serve. This is a new drill, OK? My fault. OK, so I'm going to feed you the first ball. And they are going to defend. So your job is to try to hit big forehand and win the point. Your job, guys, is you are going to defend, not attack. Your job is not to let any ball go past you, everything back. OK, so you're there, you're here. Ready? Here we go, I'll start it off. Ready? Here we go, get around the ball, attack. OK, next. Here we go. Boom, very good. OK, now, ready? You guys, we're going to keep score. You not going to let any ball. We're going to, at the end of the period, it's going to be, they're going to play for about three or four minutes. And we're going to count how many errors they make. You guys, if you hit a winner, you get five points to your team. But every time you make a mistake, it's minus one. It's playing singles, yeah. So you can hit the ball here or here. And the rotation is going to be by time. It's not by point, it's by time. I'm going to give each player about 10 seconds, 12 seconds. And then we rotate. Ready? Guys, come on, here we go. Go. Get around. Attack. Good. Uh, so yeah, good. I want. 
Stop for a second. Okay, sorry. Now, it's very good, okay? But what I'd like to see you guys doing is much more defending, like just pushing it back like that, okay? Okay, so defending, not, not attacking, okay? I know that's hard for you guys, but I want to see you defending. Ready? Okay, here we go again. Ready, get around that ball. Come on, get around it. Attack. Great ball. Good. Come on, you're going to attack. Attack. Excellent. No, you're not cutting. No volleys. It's only ground strokes. Great ball. Attack. Rotate. Esther, let's go. Ready? Come on. Here we go. You got it. Attack. Okay, minus one. Come on, get around it. Great shot. You got it. Very good. Now attack. Excellent. Come on, now attack. Watch that ball there, sorry. Change, let's go, change again. Okay, now move that ball for a second. Sorry, just there, go on. Okay, now, the point here is that now they have, they're competitive. They're working with high quality because if they win the point, they get five. But they know if they miss the ball, they're, they're having an effect. Because normally, with this drill, the players are just hitting, and it looks great, but they're missing half the time. So now, these guys have an objective, which is to defend like crazy. I want them to finish with zero mistakes. Because you should, you're only covering half the court. You're covering between here and here. Ready? The rotation means that the quality stays high. Because if you do this for too long, it's going to drop. They're going to get really poor at it, OK? Ready, here we go. Get around. Attack. Excellent. Good, get around it. Attack. Great ball. Good, get around it. Great shot. Go, that's brilliant. Good. Well recovered. That's good, Attila. Oh. Great, Attila, great effort, great effort. Again, rewarding effort, not the outcome. Okay, and rotate, okay, so you see what I mean? Another example of that will be, Zor Zolan, you come into the net, come into the net, okay, and is to, you see a lot of players, good players who are volleying and their volleying practice is like they're just hitting the ball back to the middle all the time. But they're actually not working on really attacking the volley. So two on one is quite nice. You're going to start here. I'll feed you the first ball. And then your job, guys, is to not miss anything. You're, you're, you hit over the ball. And his job is to try to win the point. OK? Uh, you can, yeah, you can play whatever you want, OK? Ready? So again. It means he can attack the volley and not just push the volley. Ready? Here we go. Go. You got it. OK, go again. Ready? Move the ball. Here we go. Go. Get it? OK, next play. Uh, uh, Esther, let's go. Ready? You're in. Here we go. You got it? Good. Go, go. OK, that was out again. Keep going. Ready? Here you go. Esther, you stay in. Go. Good. So now, the players at the net <coughs> can be much more aggressive, and it's more like a match situation. So Esther, of course, when the ball is here, needs to be more this side. When the ball is here, she needs to be more here. But the point is that this simulates much more the situation in a match, where the players are trying to attack the ball and put, cut the ball off. Sorry. Second. Okay. Now. So, hang on there a second. So we're trying the quality and intensity. We're trying to make the the it much more like a match situation. Um. Let's do another exercise. So now I want Adrian. If you go this end, you go there, Adrian. Yeah. Attila, you're here. Let's, you're starting here. And 
Guys, I want you to play a pro shot. You're going to play down the line and come in and try to win the point at the net. Okay? You're passing. Okay? So you're playing on this side. On this side. Ready? But it's full court. Ready? I'm going to feed the ball. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. So you're going to come in, play the approach, and come in, try to play the point. Good. Very good. Okay, next player. Ready? Go. You're gone. Go. Here we go. Okay, next player. Here we go. Okay, now, you see this drill many times. I like the drill a lot because one passer, three approaches, the scoring can be something like, if you score four points, you take over as returner. Okay? All right. Here we go. Ready? Back to middle. Okay, here you go. Middle. Okay, here we go. You're coming in. Okay, now, let's say we want to make the drill a little easier. Maybe it's 10-year-old players or 12-year-old players, and they're not so confident. So let's do the same drill between here and here, okay? Over. You're just going to play be over. You're just going to play between here and here. You can start over in the middle. Yeah, yeah, okay? So you only have to cover there. Ready? Now, I'm going to change the rules. Now, there's no lobs allowed. So it's the same task, but I've gone from full court. I made the court a little smaller. And now I'm changing the rules. The rules are there's no lobs allowed, and therefore the, the players will be more confident that they won't be lobbed. Ready? Here we go. You got it. Come in. There you go. Good. You got it. Very good. Okay, next player. Ready? Here we go. You want to move the balls? Thank you. There we go. Go. Here you go, Adrian. Great passing shot. Great pass. Excellent. Okay. So, we're doing this drill. Now, let's say the players are not performing very well. So it's not going so well. They're not making the first volley. So maybe I'm going to close the exercise. So I'm going to make it a little bit easier for them. And guys, come on in, Zoran. Esther, you come here. Come here. And Zoran over here. This way. Adrian over here. And now we're going to do maybe something like this, OK? We're going to play a drill where just between here and here, and we're going to, you have to play two volleys and then win the point. A little further back. So it's one, two, three, and now we try to win the point, OK? So now I maybe work on something that's getting the players to make the first volley, OK? Let's do that for a little while, OK? So you're playing points. And you're playing in a small court, OK? Here you go, Esther. You see what I mean? Go. So one, two, three, four. Now you're playing the point. Good. Next player. Next point. Good. Keep score. One, two, three, four. Good. OK, now, maybe after two minutes, now until you start here. Here. Zorin back. Ready? And now we're going one, two, three, and we're moving in, okay? Let's go. Okay, and now, after 10 minutes, we go back into the drill. Now Esther back there. Attila here. So I close the exercise. We work maybe on some technique. We work on maybe the split step. We work on some things, and then when we go into the more open situation, hopefully the players will be more able to make the first volley. Make the first volley? Okay. Okay. 
Now, very good, excellent. Supposing I want the players to really focus on making the first volley. Maybe I change the rules to say, now you have to make an approach, a tiller, you have to make the, the pass, and you have to make one volley, and then the point starts. You got it? So now it's cooperative, then compete. So actually you gotta make an approach, a pass, and one volley, then you play. Here we go. Excellent. Now you can play. Okay, next player. Very good. One. Excellent. Very good. Attila, that's excellent passing shot. Um, Zorin, very good first volley. He lost the point, but I'm giving him feedback on the first volley. Okay, um, now let's create some pressure. So now, little simple mental thing. So now you have to score five points to take over. Five points. These players, they want to take over as the passer. So, ready Attila? The players have to say, I'm, I'm on four. So they say I'm on four points. Now, Esther, if you lose this point, you go back to zero. So now she's on four. If she loses, she's back to zero. And now I can see, is Esther going to attack? She's going to be nervous. Here we go. Ready? You got it. Excellent. That's out. Okay, Esther, you take over. So now, Esther, Attila, you're gone. So... You can create big points. You can create big points. Another example of the scoring. Guys there, Esther here. Now, you have to score five, but every time you miss an approach, you lose a point. They don't lose a point if they lose, the, if they, lose they lose a point if they miss the approach. Because I want them, ready, here we go, so you go. Make the approach. Very good. Okay, next player. Ready? Attila, go. Okay, now, what did I do there? Did anybody see my feeding? For Zoran, I made a short feed. For Attila, I give a diff difficult feed. Optimal challenge. I'm challenging him a little bit more, a little bit less than other player. Okay, guys, come on in for a second. Okay, so I want to finish with two service drills. Um, Adrian, you come here, okay? Uh, Esther, you go out for a second, okay? So now, what I see happening is when players practice their serve, it's, it's, I leave this here, okay? Just come out, guys, for a second. So when they practice their serve, it's a bit like they're trying to get rid of the balls as quickly as possible. So you see players, they're practicing their serve, they're kind of going, you know, boom. They're just sort of getting rid of the ball, boom. And it's not high quality. And it certainly doesn't simulate a match situation. So now we're going to do something with Adrian. Come on, Adrian. And <coughs> Adrian, I want you to... You're going to serve, and y if you make the first serve, you go the next side. So you're going to play 10 points. So I want to see all the rituals, and if you make your first serve, you come here. If you miss your first serve, you have to hit a second. Got it? Okay, go. So go ahead. Okay, next side. Okay, second serve. Okay, other one. Uh, is that good? Yeah, first serve, good. Okay, let, go again. Okay. <coughs> 
Okay, now, if he plays 10 points, at the end of the 10 points, I know that Adrian has made six first serves, three second serves, and one double fault, let's say. And now, he has feedback on his performance. So the next 10 points, I want Adrian trying to get better, 70% first serves. But here he's getting feedback. He knows the percentage of first serves, second serves, double faults. And it's not just hitting serves. Another drill which is very good. Um, Attila, you come and do this one, okay? Okay, Adrian, you go. So, now Attila's going to play a set against himself, okay? So here, you're starting here. So, this is a a drill that Juan Carlos Ferrero used to do. If you make the first serve, you're 15 love. If you miss the first serve, you're love 15. Okay, let's go. 15 love, okay, next side. Here you go, two balls. <coughs> 30 love, excellent. Forty love. This guy's cool. Game. Very good. Hundred percent first serves. Now hang on. Stay there. You're not going anywhere. Go back there. So, too easy? Yeah. Okay. So, now Attila has to tell me wide or middle. Okay. Here we go. Same thing. You're gonna play an. Normally, the player will play one set against themselves. Ready? Okay. Tell me which you're going to go, left or right. W wide or middle? Wide, okay. Uh, love 15. Other side. Could you put one Zorin down the middle? Do you mind? Just put one uh, in the middle here. Love 15. That's good. Which side? Wide, he's going wide. Uh, 15 all, very good. Where are you going? Where? Middle. Okay, 30, 15. He's going middle. Uh, yeah, I think you got that, 40, 15, okay, go. Wide, he's going wide. Excellent. Now, we're going to make it a little more difficult, okay? Ready? Now, I'm going to call it when the ball is in the air. Okay? So, ready? Here we go. Middle. Okay? 15 love. Wide. 30 love. Excellent. Middle. Very good. This is excellent performance. I, I, I haven't seen. This is very good. Well done, man. That's really good. Okay, so you can see it's service practice, but he now is feeling, the players start to feel it's 30-40, and now they have to make a first serve. Otherwise, they lose the game, and it's a great first serve percentage drill. So again, what I've been trying to show today is how you can make normal practice in the five game situations more like a match situation. Of course, it's very difficult to replicate exactly the match situation, but you can make the quality of the training much higher intensity and quality. And you remember what uh, Nadal said earlier today about make sure you have a purpose, make sure you every day try to be better, quality training, always knowing what you're doing. So. Very important. Could you give a big hand to the guys, uh, the very good players, okay? And the guys over here, well done. Um, so I hope you, did you see all these things here? Emphasis on serve and return, good organization, clear instructions, I hope, demonstration, tr I'm trying there. Simple mental challenges. We sometimes cooperated, sometimes competed. I was trying to be passionate all the time, trying to show the kids I care. Um, I rewarded effort. 
Many times the player lost the point, but I was saying a till a very good effort, or to S a very good effort. Sometimes I closed the drill, less decision making, work on technique, and then opened it. Uh, five game situations. Okay, so you got the idea. So thanks for your attention.